All right. Speak to the leaders on the Nexus. I love how the Sarah Ryder is still just sleeping. What is it? No update when you're on out her. there facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Okay, yeah. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think? Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we've gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. Oh my what? god, finally! Go. We'll talk later, in the tech lab. <sighs> yes! Maybe she'll actually do something. It's been like 45 hours into this game. And she's been asleep for all of them. Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but delaying the truth? Meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. We're all that's left, baby brother. I know. But two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. Oh, better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. 
Hey. This was a mistake. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them. And their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. Uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. It was hard to tell with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. All those times I yelled at him growing up. You and me both. This is a better way to remember him. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit. Fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. 
What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Okay. I will take some pictures for you, Sarah, because I am a nice person. Really don't like how they put Resident her right back to sleep, but I mean... Know that. That's cool. Director Jaren Tan has provided a few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. This is HNS. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Cat won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with a job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first, then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. But the plants have adapted to the Scourge's presence. Some even feed on its Integrate Ghost, Storm, Ghost Storm technology with Tempest to help other Pathfinders. Um... I seem very nonchalant about that. I don't know how that makes me feel. Sam Note isn't on the Tempest, isn't it? Or is it? No, it's not. We'll go to Sam node and then we are out. Hopefully we can do PB's thing. Not much yet is known about the underground structure. It's believed to be remnant in origin. Noted the sorry scientist, Pelisaria Basale. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on him. This is HNS. I think I honestly just I might um do PB's loyalty mission and then just Streamline the rest of the missions. One of your father's I feel like is available. There's only a couple left. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it, GN Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus. Thanks for calling. 
and a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years <laughs> galaxy-wide. <laughs> and supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Garrus! And it's heaven. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. That's cool. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Hey. Sam. Oh my Transfer God. Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope. For your mother. <laughs> Cause she's still in the stasis pod. Oh Mom my is here? god. Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. Yeah, that's why he didn't tell us. We were made Pathfinder to see the process through. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. What is he going to say about now the Reapers? Now we Garson meant that something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Got it. I need to go find Mom. 
Here with your sister at your mother's stasis pod in Hyperion Cryo Bay. I don't know if we're gonna go to uh, Alex's Alex's quarters. Do all that because it's kind of just Reaper info and then uh, some other stuff I don't care about. And I already know what happens with the Reapers, so I don't need to go ahead and read that. It's just cool how they tied it together. Cause I wasn't entirely sure, you know, like when it was taking place and like you know all that. That was cool. That's not the right way. Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E. R. Are you saying? I saw Dad's last memory. E. R. is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my god. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. No way we're losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. All right.